Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I have the April 2023 whiff box. So I actually had Connor throw this in his Sensi Club because his ships or uh, processes, I guess is technically the word, um, processes around the first of the month. And so I, instead of placing like a separate order for it, I was like, throw it in your club and we'll get it 10% off. I do want to film, so I have my club coming later this month, but um, he also had his club come this month. So I wanted to film both of those together once mine gets here because there was, this was like the first catalog um, discontinuing season that he actually like had a club. So there was a lot of conversations between us about like, can you put that in your club? I'll put this in my club so that neither, well, primarily so my club wasn't like overflowing. Um, and I did make a few like last minute cuts. Uh, I think th I still have time before it processes. But anyway, this video isn't about Sensi Club. This video is about the Whiff Box. So here it is. I am so happy that they did a separate box for the Woof wolf box um they a few years ago it wasn't last year and I honestly don't even think it was the year before that it might have been like 2020 April they did the whiff box as like a pet subscription box and I think that this is better having two options in the month of April because I think April has like national pet day or something is why they choose the month of April because first of all not everyone has pets and second of all not everyone has pets that they want to use these products on. So like my cats, like I'm not going to spray them with, they would be livid um, if I sprayed them with anything. So I'm not going to spray them with these things. And, you know, anyway, that's besides the point. I'm glad that they did. They gave me the option instead of just like making everyone that got a whiff box get the pet themed box. Let's talk about this one though. This is not the pet themed box. Um, okay. Oh, this is kind of hard to open. All right, it says spread a little sunshine. That's kind of a cute little graphic. Um, your April whiff box is inspired by things that make everyone smile. Springtime and sunshine. Inside, you'll find a variety of products carefully selected to bring cheerful fragrances into your home as the days begin to warm delight in the arrival of spring. Um, yeah, springtime. <laughs> Springtime here in the Pacific Northwest is not really sunshine season. It's definitely rainy weather more so than anything. I like the rainy weather, so I'm not complaining. Um, air bubble package. There is a coconut daiquiri hand soap sample. So I've never tried the coconut daiquiri scent and hand soap, so I might keep this for myself and try it out. I might give it to a customer or to a friend, who knows. Um, we got, ooh, okay. So we have Scentsy Fresh in Black Raspberry Vanilla, which I honestly don't know if I have a Scentsy Fresh in Black Raspberry Vanilla. I will have to look. We have a fragrance flower in Pineapple Mango. And this is in the Dahlia Darling. Um, wait. Is it? Interesting. So... On the bottom, it has the Buttercup Bell sticker, but then in some of the like writing by the little codes, it says Dahlia. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just open it real quick. And I'm glad that I got this scent because I was actually thinking about um, putting this in my next, next time I close out a party, doing like a three pack of fragrance flowers. I love the fragrance flowers. Um, and I wanted to do pineapple mango. Okay, so it is Buttercup Bell, um, which if you guys don't know, the Buttercup Bell is just a different shape. Aesthetically, I like the Dahlia Darling design of the flower better, but I will say that I agree with, um, I, I know that Ashley has made this comment, but I, I'm sure other people have noticed this as well. The performance from the Buttercup Bell is a little bit better because there's more like surface area to throw the scent, throw the scent, but I just like the way the Dahlia Darling looks a little bit better. These also get like super saturated with oil and sometimes they can like change colors weirdly and almost like weigh down and like fall off. It's just, it's interesting. 
but anyway um i do have three wax bars so a bar of sunkissed citrus i do like this scent. i'm pretty sure i have this in a brick uh so i don't know if i need a bar of it but this is good oh, it's, it's it's a a really nice citrus medley you would think it'd be like orange forward but i feel like i get like a really good mix of like a sweet lemon lime tangerine scent it's nice sun kiss citrus soak and raise um i didn't love this warming on cold i'm like yes it smells like sunscreen it's it reminds me of going to the lake but when it was warming it was too much um I do want to give it a second shot though and I think I even have a few cubes maybe half a bar maybe not of the full bar that I had of this already but yeah it smells like sunscreen to me on cold but when it was warming it was it changed and I didn't really love it um sparkling yellow so this was in the rainbow collection last year and it came out in the catalog oh this is good um I will take back what I used to say about this saying that it was like a true lemonade scent I think if you want a lemonade scent you should go for lemon sorbet personally it's not as strong but it smells more like an icy lemonade or even squeeze the day it smells like lemonade to me it actually smells like lemon heads candy to me but this smells like lemonade but almost with like pineapple juice in it there's like some other citrus notes in it. It's not just lemon, but it is good. I do like it. Um, I'm happy that it came back because I don't have to take up a spot in my club. Though I don't think at the end of this year it'll go in my club. I think that I'll probably put something like lemon sorbet in my club instead. Or squeeze the day if they decide to discontinue it as well at the end of the spring summer season. Aloha Orchid. So I actually just made the realization that I don't think that I've looked at what the scent and warmer of the month is for May, but I am assuming that this is the scent of the month for next month. So obviously when that comes, I will do a full video on that. Oh, so this one got, this one got kind of funky. Usually what that means is it like melted and then it like re-hardened. Maybe not. That is odd. Okay, anyway. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna grab my iPad because it's right here so I can look up the notes and then also see, confirm my suspicions that this is the scent of the month for next month. So yes, it is, it is the scent of the month. So it looks like coconut. Some kind of floral, I assume orchid. That is really good. I really like that. Um, there is definitely like a like a tropical fruit note. It looks like a passion fruit. It's definitely like a passion fruit, but I get a lot of a really sweet, creamy coconut. Oh, that's so good. That's really good. I'm excited to warm that. I will go put that in my bathroom warmer like right now. Um. But yeah, it is the scented warmer of the month for May. Anyways, sorry for the chaos that was this video, but that is everything that was in the April 2023 Whiff Box. Let me know down below in the comments if you will be picking up this Whiff Box. It's a pretty good value for money. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.